Alright guys, this is a uh, continuation of the first where I showed you how to build it. This is a finished one that I had. Um, like I said, we took the schedule 40, 20 inches long. Um, we capped the end of it and we used uh, cement glue. All I had was blue, so it shows up blue a little bit. And uh, what I've done is I took my noodle and slid it all the way to the end. And to keep your noodle from sliding up and down in the water, I took some uh, uh, super glue and super glue it all the way around the front side of the noodle so to keep it from sliding up down. And as you can see, you got your other cap and your eye bolt, which you can attach your line to it and run your line however you want. Me, preferably, I like five feet with a uh, three alt circle hook down here. Um, also, I take super glue and after I cap my ends, after I put attach the cap to the pipe with the cement, I like to take a bead of, of super glue and go around each cap on both caps. And then as you can hear inside, the weight. Um, what we're going to do is, normally I test this in my pool in my backyard, but my cousin, not my cousin, my sister and her little friends are swimming, so we're going to have to do it something a little different. So we're going to show you how it looks when it floats in the water on its side before it's set. Alright, as you can see in the water, the weight, this is the weight down, this is the weight up. We're going to set it in the water, and as you can see, it floats vertically. You see your, your eye bulbs right here, so you just run your line in the water however you want. Alright, well, when the fish triggers it, the weight's going to slide to the other end. It's not deep enough, but you can see how it's wanting to stand up. Well, we got a six gallon jug right here we're going to show you. I mean, bucket. Um, when it's triggered, it's going to sit and float in the water just like that. So, that way you know you got a bite. So, if you're if your jug's still laying sideways, you don't have a bite. But if it's triggered, some, a fish is hit and triggered it, it's going to be standing up like that right there. That way, you, when you set your jugs, your noodles out, I call them jugs, I'm so used to jug fishing. When you set your jugs out, but the really called noodles, the ones that are standing up, the one that's been hit by a fish or still might have a fish on it, the ones that are laying on its side still has your bait on there, but it hasn't been hit by a fish. So, it's kind of a... I think of a better way of, of jug fishing than having to put regular milk jugs out and check every milk jug when you can just check the ones that are standing straight up that's been triggered by a catfish or a gar or, you know, wherever you live at, whatever type of species of fish you got. They're here in Florida, we got your speckled cats, some channel cats. You go a little bit north toward Jacksonville or something like that, you can get a couple of flatheads, maybe some blues if you're lucky. But right here around central Florida where we live at, we got... We got some channel cats and some, some speckled cats, but we got some big, long-nosed gar down here. We catch gar five feet long in length on the lake that we fish at. So, um, yeah, so stick around. This is Fan Hunter 101. There will be more videos coming. Thank you, guys.